Ever walked out of a meeting feeling like you caught nothing of that? Notes scattered all over the place, action items completely unclear, and all the follow-up items you mentioned already forgotten. What we're gonna do today is transform your meeting notes. We, meaning me and my team, have put the top AI note taker options to the test. So you can stop second guessing your meeting notes and start actually using them. And if you don't know me yet, welcome to my channel right here. I'm Yvonne Hyman of askev.com and I help you implement simple systems so you can grow your impact and income. Today, we're talking about AI note taker. AI has been on the rise and there is a slew of note takers out there. So I have been over the last few months tested the three top AI note taker, but let's start with the actual issue here. You want to be present with your clients, with your team when you are on these calls. So sitting there and scribbling and doing and everything is not going to allow you to be present with the people you're talking to. And not only that, yes, I do love paper, but how much how much dead information is there? It's not actionable, it's in here. My team can't see it, my client can't see it. What are we gonna do with this? And as you know, to really build simple systems that create impact and income, those need to be actionable. Tip number one, I always repeat things back. AI is just AI, which means I want to be really clear to the AI so they know what am I even talking about? They ask in my AI note taker. So I really repeat back what I need to do or what the client needs to do or where the problem is. And you see how I'm already using specific keywords so that the AI not just guesses by how I say things, what I'm talking about, but specific words that make sure it knows what is a problem. It knows exactly who is supposed to do what and give it the best resources and the best trigger words possible so it can do its job. Now, what actually makes for a great AI note taker? Little tip, it's not just transcriptions. So by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what AI note taker you should be using, why you should be using it, and how to use it to its best capability. But let's start in the beginning, and that is pricing, because we all need to pay attention to the budget. Let's be honest. Number one, let's look at Zoom AI note taker. Now, the AI companion, the Zoom AI companion is available on any paid plan. So you don't have it in your free account, but it comes for free with your pro plan. AI taker number two, Fathom note taker. And I'm actually an investor in this tool. Love Fathom, two pieces. You can start with this for free. Now there are some limitations to the free account, but if you go paid, the premium account is $15. And we're gonna talk about those limitations when I walk you through the specific AI notes we have gotten. And last but not least, ClickUp AI Note Taker. Now, ClickUp has two different AI packages. It has the Brain Assistant, which is your AI, think of it as calling it and ChatGPT included and taking your notes. It's the simple AI companion. Autopilot AI is AI doing work for you automatically. Now in the free account, you have some trials. You have, as you can see right here, Brain Assistant trials, 25 per workspace and 50 per workspace. You get more on unlimited and then more on your business plus and enterprise plan. When it comes specifically down to the pricing, let's take a look at this. The add on right now for your AI standard. Think of it as your AI companion in ClickUp. You can ask a question. Um, we talked about how we use AI with standard operating procedures. That's what that does right in here. 
Now, you also have the AI note taker, which gives you 60 hours per month automatically with meeting notes and your link documents and all of the things, as well as there is also your AI autopilot bundle. That gives you the unlimited access to AI assign, AI prioritize, the AI note taker included. So it's the full package. It's not just having ChatGPT in your ClickUp, it's the full on bundle with running agents with all the things. This is actually the package that I have. Now that we have the whole pricing taken care of, what do you get when you run these AI note takers? Now, Zoom Companion is built straight into your Zoom. And as you can see, the AI Companion, it gives you a quick recap. It gives you the next steps. It gives you a summary and you get this per email. And there it is. That's what it does doesn't record video, you need to record your video separate. AI note taker in Zoom only takes notes for you. So if you have specific information that you don't want anybody to CC, the AI companion in Zoom is a great solution. But this is what you get. Now, what are, what are we doing with this? I have so many summaries in Zoom, it's not even funny. Then we have our Fathom note taker. As I mentioned, I actually have invested in this company. I love the team. You can run it for free. Now, what you are getting for free is really just the bare minimum transcript. If you want to have these specifics of your key takeaways and any kind of technical issues or the brand strategy, what we are talked about in this call and these topics and specific next steps, that is your paid feature. And if you don't wanna have a black screen on your Zoom call that's like, hey, I am the AI note taker, you're also gonna have to pay for this. So when you're looking at um, Fathom Note Taker and the paid version, we get a similar um, roundup and summary as we are getting in the Zoom, where we have our meeting purpose right here in Fathom, we have our key takeaways, we have our topics that we talked about, it dives deeper into the technical issues we, we discussed, the brand strategy, you are getting all of these specifics and next step that we were talking about that need to be taken. Again, amazing, you can get them linked, you can easily share them in here if you wanted to. It is a great note taker. Now, last but not least, ClickUp AI note taker. So if you are running AI already in ClickUp, it's kind of like a no brainer, but let me dive into what's happening and what AI note taker looks like. One of the big downsides when we mapped out this video was ClickUp AI note taker didn't record video. And as you can tell, a lot of what I do, a lot of what I teach, a lot of what I work on is visual. We need to be able to pull screenshots out and do things, as you can see right here, being able to visually showcase what I explain to the client, especially when I'm on a standard operating procedure call where I walk the team through how this works, I need the video recording with it. Now recently, I got access to the video recording too. So that minus point just disappeared. Looking at what we actually get from this AI. Again, similar, we get the overview, we get the key takeaways, we get our next steps and we get the key topics. Now we compared the quality of the note taking and the quality is similar. It's AI. There's going to be calls where AI is a little bit more confused than there's calls where AI is spot on. We have seen the same pattern across all three AIs. So the quality of the note taking is really, really similar. Now where the decision comes in is, what was the problem we talked about in the beginning? Collecting information and not doing anything with it. I don't want notes from my meetings to just become a collection again, somewhere in, in a note and nothing is happening with it. So what I really like about ClickUp AI Note Taker is, we have all of this, but it's already in ClickUp, which means I can easily take this and turn this into a task, plug it in somewhere, 
assign it to me, and now it is already actionable. Not only that, I also really, really like that the key topics are also getting identified of, is this a problem? Is this a decision? Is there an update happening? Is that an ideation of something? I mentioned it before, be of that habit and, and practice to repeat, hey client, what I just heard you say is that you are struggling with this, this, and that. Not only does that mean you're talking to your client and show them you hurt them, you are also triggering AI to realize this is something important. So you are doubling up and really helping your AI be more productive. Now, what is our current AI setup? Now that I'm done having 10,000 different AI note takers in every call, it's like you have two people and you have five different AI note takers in there. Our current setup and what we have chosen to run here is we are still running the Zoom AI companion to just leave it running. Have a little backup if technology doesn't work as it expected to. I always like to have a backup. The main use we have now and the main AI note taker we are using is ClickUp. And the decision was made the moment we got video, simply because we can easily assign tasks. Now meeting notes are becoming actionable, which again is the biggest problem with meeting notes, not taking actions on it. The secondary is you have the emphasis on what is it that actually happened in this meeting, knowing where's a problem, where does the decision, where's an idea, where are updates happening? And the final feature that made us switch over is really clips being integrated with AI note taker. So now literally we have in calendar, we have the AI note taker to set to jump into all of my calls, no matter if I'm there or not, and generating those meeting notes for me to know what's happening with the team in case I cannot join a call and really have these actionable tasks ready to go for us to again, take action on them. It doesn't matter how well you are taking notes if you are not doing anything about them afterwards. Now, how can you take click up note taking even further? Now imagine automating your entire meeting process from notes to follow ups to tasks without ever lifting a finger. I covered exactly how to do that in this video right here about ClickUp's new meeting automations. Check it out next on how to streamline your workflow even more. Let's keep boosting your productivity together and catch you in the next video.